guys, Rich here on Christmas Day 2023. Looking at this 1970 Chevrolet Corvette LS5 air convertible, four speed, numbers matching car. <clears throat> Doing a quick online video. We've done a video of this car before. Um, it didn't look like this. <clears throat> We've done quite a bit to it. Uh, <clears throat> Gonna try to point out any blemishes that I can see on the car. I've got a pretty good angle of light right now on the car, and um, I'm not seeing any any blemishes right now. Uh, probably have to get way in here and look to see some. Up front here, looks like I got a little scuff on the chrome. Chrome bumper looks good. Headlight gaps look good. No stress cracks in the nose, and usually you got the the bonding elements. They kind of they kind of pop on these on these cars. You can see maybe it's just starting a little bit. Um, no paint pop. I'm just saying that you get you get you know there's a big piece of metal right here, so uh, that that is what they bond it to. So <clears throat> sometimes you can see that through a little bit. Yeah, like right here, you can kind of get it right there. You see a little bump right there. You know, pretty hard pressed to not find a car that's, that's doing that, to be quite honest. Looking down the car, looks pretty straight. Um, paint looks great out here in the sunlight. It is drizzling just a little bit. So I'm gonna try and keep like, you know, water spots and stuff off of it. See if I can see any blemishes. Yeah, here we go, here's a couple. So, <clears throat> let's see if we can get this on camera. See this little fish eye right here, see it? Okay, so I'm standing up, I'm touching the car right now. We're looking like this. If we get right here, I got a little fish eye here. I've not yet tried to wet sand that out or anything yet, but just a little bitty one. Two more next to it, one and two. So, quite discreet, really. Um, I think you probably have to be a professional to notice these things. So, otherwise, no big shrinks or anything like that anywhere. Um, this car is base coat, clear coat. So we might just try and wet sand that a little bit and see what happens. Uh, we'll probably be able to knock it down quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> fresh beauty rings, center caps. Door gap looks good on the driver's door. Pretty nice. This is probably, I wish we would have replaced this, um, this belt molding here. This looks to be original um, and just a little cracked, it, it cracked right there. Uh, really simple part to replace, uh, not too big of a deal. A little dry in here on this exterior squeegee too. Um, all this weather stripping is brand new though and fresh. Top is in excellent condition, like new, very, very nice. Correct. Looks the way it's supposed to look. We got. Let's see if this was date coded or not. It doesn't look like it's date coded. Just looks like it was a nice uh, aftermarket uh, top. Rear chrome looks good. Um, a lot of times you'll see a lot of stress cracks up here on these C3s. This looks great. I don't see any of that. No stress cracks. Nothing like that. Rear chrome is is very good. I would I would not say um, like show chrome, just because most I mean, most people most people would look at this and say, "Holy cow, that looks great!" I mean, look at this. You can see the reflection of the lights for crying out loud. It looks great. Uh, but you know, you get in here really, 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 really close, and you got maybe a little micro. It's really not even showing up on camera, so. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's worth mentioning, but that's how we do the videos around here. So, tail lights look good. Rear chrome bumper, kind of the same. Just some real little bitty. You can kind of see it here. Little 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 micro pits starting. We've not done much to the car in the way of trying to to polish that chrome. So, um, we'll just see if we can make that look any better. Honestly, it looks pretty good the way it is. 
Overall finish looks great. I mean, we're looking for like these stress cracks on these Corvettes, you know, like they are a little bit of junk right here. The rag out. Excuse me. A little bit of dirt right here. Fit looks great. <clears throat> Don't see any thin spots in the paint. Don't see any blemishes in that way. Let's look at the interior here. Pretty nice. New fresh weather stripping. All these interior, the interior looks to be original. Um, actually, it's looking pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> kind of rare to see these in one piece, you know, like everybody. These are always cracked. Somebody puts their right elbow on it to lean over this way and unlock the door or roll up the window or whatever, and that's where that crack goes right there. So that's nice to see that one in good shape. Uh, we did do this radio, um, kind of a, a, a vintage looking, but modern guts, modern radio. Dash looks to be in good shape, no issues there. Sounds good, nice and solid. And again, very nice looking door panels. I mean, really, you know, nothing goofy going on up here, no big stress cracks or anything like that. Um, When they painted the car, obviously they went they went you know all the way in here. So I mean, and all this stuff was out. I don't see tape lines around any of this stuff. So it was obviously out. Uh, the car just wasn't a frame off restored car. Steering wheel looks like it's in good shape. Tachometer showing where it needs to show for this car being a high horse car. Fifteen thousand eight hundred sixty-two miles. Um, you know, we're going to say it's rolled over. And uh, this chrome up here, a little pitted. Hmm. I wish we would have got new ones of those. A little pitted up there. That's okay. Great looking engine compartment. Detailed out nicely. I mean, really nice. Yeah, no issues here. Nothing to... Nothing that anybody would fault about this thing. Factory air car. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, well done. I got some good pictures of the numbers matching uh, pad um, online. So take a look at those also. That's it. Nice looking piece. Get it on a lift here in a second. Probably do some pictures. <clears throat> Maybe even another video. Oil pressure's up. Fuel gauge working. Tax working. Chevrolet Corvette LS5 454 390 horse. Mulsanne blue over blue interior. Factory air, four speed. Convertible, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Collector car gallery. Thanks a lot, guys.